So welcome back guys to Kids Coding Playground. Today I'll be making a game called Don't Get Wet. So I'll give you a demonstration of the game and then we'll hop onto the code. So you have three lives. You try to stay under the rain and try not to get wet by staying under the umbrella and the umbrella will move to random places and you try not to get wet. And once all three of your lives lost, it's game over. So as you can see, when when you uh, survive for more than 60 seconds, um, the sky will turn bright and it will say you win. So let's hop on to the video, the project. So let me start a new project. So first we don't need the scratch cat. Um, we will be choosing sprites. So I will take this one. This is the one I took. We can keep him. Uh, and then we'll need two variables first. So we need lives. And then we need timer. That's to count how, how long you've been playing the game. Then we'll need to get our sprites. What else sprites are there? Yeah, we need to get the umbrella. I think they got they got rid of the umbrella. So okay, I'm back. As you can see, I imported the umbrella sprite right here for my old project. They took it out from 3.0. So I'd recommend you download umbrella from online a PNG. So Next, we'll need to draw some sprites. We'll be needing to draw the um, raindrop sprite. So the raindrop, we'll just paint new sprite. I'll just pick a blue, bluish color. Uh, maybe a little lighter. And get the circle tool. Oops. I'll do this and then, and then erase the corners. As you can see, I'm trying my best to draw this raindrop, which is not very good. So let me group all this and make it smaller. Center. Okay, so that's my raindrop. I know it doesn't look very good. I'm not very good at scratch art, so I can rename it to raindrop. Okay, raindrop. And we'll need to get a backdrop so we'll need two backdrops. We can take the blue blue sky. This one for the winning. You know, when you win, it becomes a blue sky. Let me just add a uh, sun, I guess, in the corner. So I added some clouds and the sun as the winning screen and now I'll add the rainy backdrop. So let's just use backdrop one. I can rename it to rain, rainy, rainy backdrop. I will just make the backdrop gray, this, a gray color. 
First, let me make a ground actually. So I need green. Turn down the brightness a little. So this is my rainy backdrop. So as you can see, this is my rainy backdrop. So next, we will be working on the backdrop code because the backdrop, you will need to do some code. So first you want to drag it when clicked, when flag clicks. Switch the backdrop to the rainy backdrop in the beginning. Then we need a forever loop. This is just to detect if you win. So forever, if then, need two if then statements. If then timer is equal to 60 or less than six, uh, greater than 60, sorry. So this basically means if the time, which is one minute, is equal or greater than 60 seconds, then it'll, it'll win a broadcast win after this we want to broadcast win so we want the greater than sign timer 60 and we'll need a broadcast a message called win because if you uh beat it under if you beat it in 60 seconds then you win and we need another equal sign we need an or equal and uh, greater than sign. So if the lives is equal to zero or less than zero, so I actually need a less than sign, but it's, I could have put it on the other side, but it's easier to read, well, just less than zero. Then we can broadcast a message called lose. Cause you lost after you lose three lives, lose. So when I receive win, you want to switch the backdrop. When you receive win, you want to switch the backdrop to a blue sky. That's uh, the sunny backdrop. Then stop other scripts in the sprite. And if it receives game over, we can just duplicate this and take out that broadcast lose, then stop other scripts in the sprint. So next, let's work on the player movement. So let's go to the player. I can actually rename it to play. So player. So when clicked, when I hit a one click block, set the lives to three, because he needs three lives in the beginning of the game. Forever, forever loop. If then touching the uh, raindrop, then it will change the lives by negative one. So it will minus one life. So we'll need another if then. We'll need two more if then statements. You can just duplicate them, put them right here. So if then, right, I need a if then arrow is pressed, key. So if the right arrow is pressed, right arrow is pressed, then we will change point and direction of 90 and put this on don't rotate so it won't flip upside down. I forgot to do that. So point and direction of 90, so I'll be facing the right and move 10 steps. And if the key left arrow is pressed, then it'll do the opposite. It'll point negative 90 degrees, point in direction of negative 90, negative 90, and move 10 steps. So when you receive game over, receive game over, which is lose, then stop other scripts in the sprite. And 
we can make him say game over for two seconds. Game over. Say game over. And then we can duplicate this if we receive the win. Then we can say you win. You win. And we need forever reset the timer. So it will we need forever set timer to timer so the timer variable will keep on going up. We need a forever loop. Forever loop. Set timer. Timer to the this timer. Drag it in here. Okay, finally. No, no, we still have the umbrella, umbrella and raindrop to go. So when clicked, we can go to 0, 50, negative 50, 0, exposition, and negative 50. We're somewhere in the middle. Show. In the beginning, forever. Wait. We need to wait. Pick random one to three seconds or one to five seconds. One to three seconds. Um, then it'll glide to two seconds to a random position. Glide two secs to a, not a random position, but we have to put the pick random. Glide two seconds to pick random negative 200 for X position to 200. No, this is the wrong one. I'm going to glide, pick random, negative 200, two seconds, to 200, which is from right here to right here. Somewhere around there, and negative 50, same Y position. <clears throat> and then when you receive the win, the win, then you can hide. Stop other scripts in the sprite. And same thing for the lose. Same code. Okay, finally we have the raindrop code. So when click, you want to set the size to 10%. So it'll be like the size of a raindrop, pretty small. <clears throat> set the size to 10%. Where is that? Set size to 10%. Forever, wait, wait, pick random 0 0.1 to 0 0.5. So randomly uh, produce a new raindrop every 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 seconds. So pick random 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.1 to 0 0.5. So 0 0.1 to 0 0.5. So we need to create a clone of yourself. So let's create a clone. So when it starts as a clone, we want it to have a forever loop, forever loop, uh, if then touching, we need two or statements, or and another or, so if then touching, touching the player, touching the raindrop, I mean, you know, the umbrella, or touching touching the color green. We have to do that. Touching this color, which is the background. So actually, we want to take out the outline for this thing because it's it might dis disturb the the. So like and the raindrop might touch the black because I remember there's one. So let's take out the outline for it. Okay, so now the outline is gone. So now we'll need another. So if it touches that, wait 0 0.01 seconds, a slight pause. Seconds and delete the clone. So the raindrop will go away. And we need another one I start as a clone. 
go to pick random pick random negative 200 to negative 240 to 240 the x position so somewhere right here to right here so negative 240 to 240 and y 175 so somewhere up here it'll generate somewhere up there 175 then it'll show in forever glide three seconds glide three seconds so that's how long it'll take to touch the floor to, to x to x x position so the x position of it to a y negative 180 so it'll glide somewhere down there so same thing as these we can just put that right there and put that right there drag it there so then it'll be duplicated right here and we can we have to make Devin a bit smaller because he's uh, really big as you can see make him size 50 maybe size size 75 let's make him spawn right there umbrella let's make it size 100 and when I when I did the raindrops I shrunk it so let me make it a bit bigger because 10% is very small let me select the whole thing. Sorry about that. Let's group it. I'll make it big again. So setting it to 10%, it will be actually a bit more visible. So as you can see, stay under our umbrella. When I touch it, when I hit, I'm gonna kill myself, so it'll say game over. So when you play again, I'll make it full screen for you guys. So when I win, it will say uh, you win. It would probably say that. Let's see. Let's see if it works. So the raindrops are a bit hard to see because they're kind of light blue. I can ch you can change the color if you want, but I'm just here to show you guys how this works. So that's it for the video. See, it says you win. So thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to this channel and like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.